Peterson. We're going to be doing some African drumming today. These are some of our um, new drums that we just received from the, the grant for the school. And it's so exciting. We got to play some of these in person in class. And I wanted to get to share them with our e-learners as well. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, there are three different size drums that we have right here. I'm going to call this one the Papa, <laughs> Papa drum, Papa bear. And then the, we have Mama bear. And we also have Baby bear. Okay. So what's pretty fun about these drums, they're called tubanos. What are they called? Yes, tubanos. And they look like a tube. If I hold it up for you. Okay, there's a handle on the side. Looks like a tube. On the bottom, it has these little cutaways so that the sound can come out and we can hear the drum without leaning the drum over. So it just stands up and we can play it. We can um, be seated or stand up if it's easier for you as well, okay? And there are different sizes. The teacher drum that I have is much taller. Um, I'm not bringing that one out today. I just wanna play these guys for you today. And what I'm gonna play on these drums, I'm gonna make different sounds, right? Experiment. I want you to hear how they sound different as well. my toy box over here. I'm going to move the toy box over so maybe you can see the drum a little bit better. Okay. This is a rhythm I might play. I'm going to play in the center of the drum. Do you hear how they sound different? Let's listen more. One more time. Ooh. What about if I go the opposite direction? Interesting. Okay, so that's gonna be my bass hand. And if you look at the board, I wrote these on the board for you guys. Goon Doon, what is it? Yes, Goon Doon. I'm gonna play my hand flat in the center of the drum. Okay, and then I'm gonna move out in my triangle a little bit, and that sound is Go Do. What is it? Yes, Go Do. And then I'm gonna move all the way up with my hand cupped, well, to the edge. It doesn't have to be all the way out where it's only my fingers, but to the edge, and I'm gonna play pa ta. What is it? Yes, pa ta. Let's hear. Let's see if you can hear the differences. Close your eyes. Are your eyes closed? Here we go. sounds that you can make on the tubanos. I also learned those sounds for the djembe, a different African drum that you'll get to see maybe in another video or in person if you're at school. Okay. I like to also play around with drum roll. So drum roll, please. The drum roll can be loud. It can be soft. It can be slow. I play the drums just like when I play with sticks I'm not gonna leave my hand on the drum like this because it kind of stops the sound I want to make sure that I'm letting the sound ring out from the drum I'm gonna play more like this so the sound keeps going okay let's see if you can echo what I play are you listening? Let's see. Ooh, what if 
I change what my right hand, the instrument that my right hand is on versus my left hand. Let's see. Same rhythm, just sounds different, right? All right. Let's go into our special African drumming toy box over here and see what we have. <clears throat> we do have some fun things in here. Okay, we have one of these guys. It's not, kind of might look like a cowbell. It's actually not a cowbell. This is a, a wood block. And I'm gonna use a special tool for the wood block. If I can find it, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, so many things in this wood box. Here we go, where is it? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna use this tool to play on the wood block. Now, I'm not gonna play so hard that it hurts my hands or that it hurts my ears, right? Because the wood block can be pretty loud. Listen. Did you notice that my pattern stayed the same? It's very important uh, for the wood block to play the same pattern so that the, the group, maybe the drum circle, could stay together. And they might even just play the steady beat. Or they might alternate. to show you a really fun, cool drum that we have. And we have three of them actually. Now, this drum looks something like this, okay? Maybe it looks like a shield to you, right? So it has special ropes on the back that look like this. So then I can hold it. And I'm gonna make sure that it's not pointed towards the ground because then all my sound is gonna go to the ground. I'm gonna hold it kind of at an angle like this. And it is called a buffalo drum. Traditionally on drums, like the hand drums or the buffalo drum, the um, drum head would be made out of animal skin or animal um, hide. But now nowadays, we don't need to do that anymore. We actually um, have other materials that we can use with advanced technology. All right, I have a little mallet that I'm gonna use for the buffalo drum. And again, I'm not gonna play so hard that it hurts myself or the instrument, right? Using self-control. Does it sound like the wood block pattern, the rhythm pattern? All right, let's go ahead and do chord notes. Ta, 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 ta. Or you can go ahead and march. And then, all right, and then I can stop the sound. Whoa, so I can stop it quick, right? I can let it ring out. That's nice. Okay. So a fun thing that we did this week, we combined the instruments and composed a song together. We were able to do different rhythms, but make sure that we were listening to each other so that those rhythms could fit together and create a song. It was pretty fun. <clears throat> okay, let's see what else we have in our toy box. These instruments come from Mexico. They're beautifully painted. <clears throat> and have some palm trees and a beach scene on the front. These are called maracas. What are they called? Yes, maracas. What I love about maracas, you can play them separately or you can play them together. Maraca roll, please. All right. 
So another instrument that I would consider part of the shaker family, we have the maracas, because they're all part of the percussion family, right? Oh yes, we have baby maracas too. They're so cute. So they look like an egg shaker, but then they have a handle on the bottom so that we can hold on to them. They're tiny but mighty, right? Ta, ta, ti, ta. Ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. Very good. Ta, 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 ta. Nice. All right. Check out what else we have. Oh, yes. 